teacher, coach, and confidant. There's not much Michael Holton doesn't take on. And thanks to teachers, how he juggles his relationships to get the most out of his students. I don't know why. Should I be? Whether it's a simple, how are you? How's your mama doing? A special gesture. You're really nice. We have a handshake. He's a pretty cool dude. You got to go back and get that made up. Or some early morning homework help. This is this week. Michael Holton's presence is known in the hallways at Asheville Middle School. But when the kid comes in and, you know, they may have had something bad happen at home or they're dealing with something, when the kid comes to you early in the morning wanting to talk, it makes you feel good that they chose you to come talk to them. A friend, yet respected teacher at the same time. Chris, classroom. A lot of times if we're messing around too much or we're not doing our work, he can get us to do our work, but he does it in a good way without making us either like mad at him or feel bad. Mr. Holton's been with Asheville City Schools for 14 years. I stumbled into it. Actually, you know, growing up, you know, all, you know, all young men wanted to be some type of athlete or work with some type of banking. Um, with me, once I got to college, it was like I wanted to do something different. He quickly realized this was a perfect fit. Going through school, you, you find ideas and you find things about certain teachers who impact your life. So, you know, I was like, okay, that's me. That's what I want to do. I want to be that person. I want to be that guy that kids look at. He's really nice and he makes math fun. And I enjoy going to his class a lot. Normally, I don't really like math. Any questions about inequalities? When Mr. Holton's not in the classroom, he's coaching basketball, golf, and football for the first time. Extra duties that make him a thanks to teachers winner. Having someone get online to write an essay about being in my class, it's, it's shocking, it's humbling. It's, it's really humbling and uh, uh, I'm thankful. Here's your formulas. But he's most thankful when his students remember what he taught. When it's all said and done and they've moved on to high school or some type of post-education, that they come across something in a reading that makes them remember what they learned in class. That's fulfilling because I know they paid attention. I know they got something out of class. And for that, we say thank you. And on top of all of that, he basically gives up his planning period because now that he's the football coach, right. he has to go check on all 40 of those players' grades. He's amazing. Yeah, they really love him. They will remember him forever. Absolutely. Yeah. And remember, we need nominations to recognize a deserving teacher every week. Go to thanks to teachers at WLOS.com.